Let's talk a little bit about exceptions. You're currently looking at the ensure sendable method inside the campaign model. This function will get called whenever we try to send a campaign. It will throw an exception for each case where it isn't allowed to send this current campaign. So for example, if we are already sending a campaign, we can't send it again and we throw this exception. The campaign with this ID can't be sent because it is already being sent. And we have a couple more in this function. What I like about this exception is that it already has a nice message. It clearly says which campaign is having troubles and why it is having troubles. What I don't like about this exception and all the other ones is that the message itself is being built here. We have all those texts here, which makes that function look a little bit heavier than it needs to be. Let's switch to the branch that actually contains the code we use in MailCoach. And let's scroll down to that ensure sendable function. Here you can see that the code doesn't contain that exact error message anymore. Instead, we use a static function to which all the objects are passed that are needed to build a beautiful exception message. Let's take a look in the being sent method. You can see that the being sent method is part of the could not send campaign class, which extends exception. And all of the methods in this class already return an instance of the exception. So we have the new keyword going on here. So we can just throw the exception here. We don't need a new keyword to be specified here. And you can see that the object being passed is used to build the exception message. If you name your exception class an exception method just right, then in the code where you throw the exception, it's perfectly understandable what this exception is about. Could not send a campaign because it is already being sent. And if we take a look at the tree structure of Laravel MailCoach, we see that we have all the exceptions in an exceptions directory. And just by looking at the class names, you can easily imagine when we need those exceptions. Let's take a look inside the could not update campaign. And here you see the same pattern. Our class extends exception and it has multiple static functions that are named well. So if you find yourself throwing off a regular exception in your code, consider creating a dedicated exception class and put a static method with a good name on it.